Hey, what's up everybody? It's Amaya. So today's video is going to be kind of a get ready with me, story time, chatty type of video. I'm super excited to do this because I'm going to be talking about something that I recently started doing and it's my new job and I'm super excited about it. So I really want to talk to you guys about that, let you know kind of how it's going and yeah, just kind of get ready today. That's pretty much it. I'm really anxious to just get into the video and start filming, so that's what we're gonna do. So I guess without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. So I'm probably not gonna be talking about all the products that I'm using as I'm using them, just because I really wanna talk a lot in this video, but they will all be linked down below if you're curious about what I am using. So let's talk about what you probably saw in the title of this video, and that is my new job, which I am very excited to announce is at Ulta. I recently got hired at Ulta Beauty. I know. No, but seriously, ever since the Ulta in my mall closest to me opened like six years ago now, I think, I have wanted to work there. It opened right when I was first starting to get into makeup. I was like 14, so that was super exciting. And I don't know, ever since I was like old enough to start working, I wanted to work there because it just seemed like the perfect place for me. I'm in there all the time. I love shopping there. I'm really passionate about makeup. Why not, right? However, I was always in school and very busy so I would have like part-time jobs on the weekends but nothing you know I didn't really have time for anything serious so now that I am taking a semester no it's a year now I'm taking a year off from school purely for the fact that I cannot do what I want to do online and I do not want to risk it being online I decided well Let's get a job, shall we? So I'm already an English tutor, but I really wanted another job that I knew I was gonna love and I was gonna enjoy. And Ulta popped back into my head. I applied and a few weeks later, I heard back and I went in for an interview. I am going to be telling you guys all about my hiring experience, what it's like to work there, in case any of you guys are interested. And obviously Ulta is very different depending on where you live, you know it's gonna be different everywhere. But I'm just gonna kinda of give you my general experience and hopefully you consider getting a job there. They are hiring for the holiday season, which is awesome. So I applied through a like third party website. It's like one of those, you know, like kinda of like ZipRecruiter, stuff like that. I applied through one of those because I was just searching on there for jobs and Alta popped into my head and I was like, all right, let me, let me go see. So I went and looked and I found that there were several positions available and I just went for the quote unquote lowest position obviously because this was my first time working any sort of beauty retail of any sort and that is beauty advisor. So there are a lot of different positions and roles that you can work at Ulta. Uh, you have beauty advisors, which kind of just do a little bit of everything. You have lead cashiers, which are basically beauty advisors, but they have a dollar raise up from beauty advisors and they also concentrate on the cash wrap, the cash register, all that sorts of good stuff. And then you have prestige beauty advisors, which are a little bit higher up than beauty advisors, and you concentrate mainly in the prestige section, in the fragrance section, all that sorts of good stuff. And then you have, you know, your managers that are not like lower management, but basically they're lower than the general manager. And then you have your general manager. And then after that, there's like the district manager and everything like that, but they're like for the whole the whole thing. I will say I'm gonna be using the Morphe 3503 palette today. I know you guys love to hate on me for my Morphe palettes, so this one's for you, but seriously, I love this palette so much. And every product I am using today, you can buy at Ulta, so. <laughs> I kinda of wanna go for something like very like red and fall and rusty, and I'm gonna be using glitter too, so excited about that. So anyways, I decided that I wanted to go for the beauty advisor position. Not just because that was like the lowest ranking position and that's pretty much all I felt comfortable doing, but obviously it's a job that I would love to do. Advising people on beauty, helping people find stuff in the store, doing product recommendations. That's really what I wanted to work at Ulta for. And 
depending on your state, your pay is going to be different, but here the pay is above minimum wage, which is awesome. So I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but you can always look it up for your state or my state if you decide. So it seemed like kind of a win-win deal. So I did apply and I didn't hear back for a few weeks and I'm not sure if that's because of using a third party website or if they just weren't really hiring. I'm not really sure what that was all about. But I did finally hear back and I heard back from my general manager who is super sweet, love her. And she had me come in for an interview. So I was super nervous, <laughs> okay. I was terrified, let's be honest. I have never done an official interview before because all the jobs that I have worked have been for people that I know. So I've never done an official job interview. I've never worked like a true retail job other than at farmer's markets and stuff like that. So I was super nervous and luckily I have a wonderful boyfriend who is a business major and I have a dad who works in business as well. So I was like, okay, you guys <laughs> help. <laughs> so I did interview prep and I have to say, if you're going to be going for an interview, do interview prep. I know it might seem like it's kind of like useless and annoying and stuff like that. Do it. Okay. Because it's not just going to help you with your interview itself. It's going to help you in general, in the job, in the business whatever you're getting hired for, trust me. So I actually started out by watching some videos of people that had worked at Ulta that were, you know, kind of titling their videos, how to get hired at Ulta. I found this one video, which I really liked, and I'll link it down below. It was by this woman who was a former like general manager for her Ulta, and she gave some really awesome tips about how to show up for the interview, how to act, what they're gonna ask you, so I highly recommend that video, but there's so many out there. There's certain sites where you can like ask questions about certain businesses and jobs and stuff like that. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But they actually had some interview questions for Ulta, like what they were asked at their Ulta. And I basically just had my boyfriend read off of these. And it was actually kind of convenient because he's taking a class about basically like his whole class is how to do an interview. So he gave me lots of tips and tricks and my dad did as well and I felt really confident going in obviously I was really nervous but I felt I felt okay after that so I highly recommend doing some sort of interview prep I don't think that there is a specific dress code that you need to follow but I wore all black I chose to wear all black even though that's not the dress code anymore at Ulta it used to be I just think that all black looks very like nice and classy and clean and professional. So that's what I chose to wear. I didn't wear any patterns. I just wore like a nice long sleeve black dress and a pair of heels and I had my hair done, makeup done. Obviously you wanna show up presentable. <laughs> you don't wanna show up looking like a, a wet rat, a drowned rat. <laughs> now here's the part where I feel like I lucked out of it. I didn't actually end up having an official interview after all that, I know. I know. So what ended up happening in my case was my general manager was not the one that was going to be conducting my interview and instead I had one of the lower managers that conducted my interview and basically the interview consisted of us talking and she actually at one point was like I'm not even going to ask you these questions like you're hired and I was like oh. So it really did end up being a conversation just about me and what they're looking for as far as someone to work. One of the questions though that she did ask me is why Ulta? And I feel like if you go for any interview, no matter where you're going to work, they're going to ask you why us? I basically answered that I love Ulta and I love the way that Ulta makes me feel. I love the way that the employees make me feel. I love the atmosphere. I love the product selection and Ulta makes me feel really happy and I love going in there and shopping and I want to help be part of that experience and help others feel that way. So that was kind of my response and it was, it was true. So when you get asked a question like that, like why this company, why that? Even if you're really just like, listen man, I need a job. I don't, I don't effing know. Try to think of some sort of answer that's like from the heart. I know that sounds like kind of cheesy, but it's so true. I brought to my interview 
my resume, which is super important. Sometimes you have to submit your resume when you're applying for the job. I didn't, I just filled out like a standard application, but if you do have to submit your resume when you're applying and I don't think you need to bring it to the interview, it doesn't hurt just to have a hard copy of it on you, but I did. So anyways, I got hired and then later in that day, the general manager called me back and she started asking me when, like, when a good day for me to come in for my first day would be and we got that scheduled out. So now here comes to the confusing part and this is dress code. So one of the things that I wish Ulta did, and I totally think this could just be, you know, my Ulta or the Ultas in my area, but they don't really make their dress code public. You can't like access it online, which is kind of frustrating, especially when you're going in for like your first day, whatever, you want to look the part. I ended up just emailing my general manager and she gave me like the list of colors that we're allowed to wear. And basically you're allowed to wear any of the colors of the Ulta logo. So the Alta logo is like pink, orange, and purple. So those are like the color colors that are allowed and you can wear different variations of those colors. So it could be like a light pink, dark pink, all that sorts of fun stuff. Uh, same thing with all the other colors. And then you can wear black, white, or gray. And the interesting thing is the dress code is a lot more strict on paper than it is in person, at least at my Alta. So anyways, I went in for my first day and normally I was expecting to start with some type of training, but I actually didn't. So I actually started out right on the floor, kind of shadowing the other employees. And the thing that I have to say about all of my Alta employees from my store, if you guys are watching this, which I don't think you are, because I don't think any of you know I have a YouTube channel. Um, if any of you guys are watching this though, you guys were amazing. My crew was so welcoming and so sweet. And that was something that I was really nervous about because working in, you know, unfortunately working in an all-female environment, sadly, sometimes you are subjected to some cattiness, but that was not the case at all. I had some really sweet girls that took me right under their wing and helped me figure everything out. And I actually didn't end up doing my like video training. You have to do like hours, literal hours of video training on like on different types of protocol at Ulta. You have to watch all these videos and complete like these, you like have to watch and write down stuff. It's like a fill in the blank. It's kind of annoying. And then you also have to do like sexual harassment training, all that sorts of good stuff. Let's talk about a typical day at Ulta, right? which is probably what you guys are all curious about. One of the things I love about Alta is their schedule is super, super flexible. Like you can really work whenever you want. They don't have like certain like shifts, like people come in all different times throughout the day, whenever works for them. Some people only work on Fridays when we get deliveries in. Some people work full time, but they only work in the mornings. There's all different options, which I think is fantastic because I know a lot of jobs have like set shifts. Typical day at Ulta, you come in and you have to clock in. So at my Ulta, and I'm not sure if this is standard for like all Ultas, but at my Ulta, we actually have an app that we can clock in. in. <sighs> At my Ulta, we actually have an app that you use to clock in if you so choose. You can clock in on one of the computers in the back or you can clock in on the app. It's just so much easier to clock in on the app on your phone. And then you have to watch these videos every shift. So these videos are called like DMT training videos. And I think that's like district manager training videos. I have no idea, but basically they're these short like one to two minute videos about different products, about different services, about brands. And they just kind of tell you a little bit about the product, give you some information. I watched one on Clinique. I watched one on Tula Skincare. Let's see, I watched one on Urban Decay Primer Potion. They're super fun. And the purpose of these is to give you knowledge on products that you may not have used, or maybe you did use, but you don't know exactly all of the selling points of the product. And by doing these, if you do all yours throughout the week, you at some point get gratis, which is free stuff. You get free product for completing these trainings. And I know that all Altas probably work this differently. So I'm not sure if this is something that's done at all Altas, but I have to say this is very helpful, especially for someone who knows a lot about makeup, but isn't always, you know, familiar with everything. I know the names of a lot of products, but I don't always know exactly what their selling points are or 
their benefits, stuff like that. Usually the first thing that I will do is walk out onto the floor and see if I have a zone. So at my Ulta we have this like sheet with a layout of the store and this layout will tell us where each person is supposed to be focusing on that day. A lot of times we have our one guy there who only does Clinique, so obviously he's in the Clinique section. And if he's not there, someone who is familiar with skincare or maybe one of the prestige advisors is in the Clinique section. There's also the prestige section, there's mass cosmetics, which is like where all the drugstore stuff is, um, there's hair care, cash register, so any of those sections are usually where you're going to get assigned. But that does not mean that you can't leave that area. All that means is that that's where you're supposed to be focused on so that way you're not just kind of standing there twiddling your thumbs not really knowing what to do. If I don't have a zone then I ask either one of my managers or one of my coworkers what needs to be done or if I see somebody working on something I'll ask if they need help as far as like stocking or redoing displays, stuff like that. Stocking is one of the most annoying things in the entire world. <laughs> it is so obnoxious because sometimes you have overstock of products and you go to stock them and there's already too many of them. So you have to put them in the back and you have to make sure you have them all separated and it's obnoxious. If I do have a zone, I will go over to that zone and one of your big points when you're in that zone, so say if I was in the prestige section, that would be to kind of just walk around, make sure everything looks nice, make sure everything's in its correct spot and ask people if they need help. So when someone walks into the store and they walk towards me, I'll say, hi, how are you? You need help finding anything today? Or if they're already shopping around in there, I'll say, hey, you find everything okay? So I'm someone when I'm shopping, I'm like, leave me alone. Let me do my own thing. <laughs> A lot of people really want help and they want you to like talk to them about new products and stuff like that, which I think is great. And it's so much fun getting to help people find things and find new products because it's like shopping with a friend. It's like, and I think that's my favorite part is helping people. I also really like working the cash register just because it's fun and you know, who didn't play store when they were little, right? With the cat, like a fake cash register. It's fun, okay? And it also makes the time pass very quickly. One of the things that I can say is get the credit card, okay? So if you've been pre-approved for the Alta credit card, we have a MasterCard and we also have a like credit card for in-store get it. Well, I didn't know the benefits of the credit card exactly. I just was like, oh, credit card, no. But if you get the MasterCard, it's like a regular credit card, and every time you spend over $3 at another location, you get one point in your Ulta Rewards. So if I spend $6 at, like, say, the gas station, I get two points towards my Ulta Rewards, which is so good, especially if you're trying to build up points and be a higher status at Ulta Rewards, which Ulta Rewards are fantastic, and I've always said this, not just now that I'm working there, but their rewards are so good. It's not like Sephora where they give you like these chintzy little samples for a certain amount of points. No, your points add up to real money, and that's one of the biggest things that I just, I love. You can trade them in for money off of products and services. You can just keep racking up your points and then splurge. Like say you can rack up $500 in points and then buy something that you really want. When you sign up for the credit card as well, you also get 20% off your purchase once you've been approved, which I think is so cool. That's one of the big things that we push at the register and I have to say, do it, sign up for it. Obviously we get rewarded if we sell you on the credit card, but I don't feel bad you know, plugging the credit card because I do truly think that it's a great thing. So after you're doing that, walking around, working in your zone, whatever, eventually you get your break and this is like a nice half hour that you can just chill and have fun, get your food, <laughs> whatever you need, and then you're done. Now I'm going to talk about a few things that I just want to let you guys in on. First of all, if you work at Alta, you get a discount. So you get a 25% discount like on everything and if a product is on sale or if there's another coupon or something like that you can stack it which I just think is the most genius idea ever. Also certain brands will give you extra deals at different times like they'll just randomly be like oh extra 35% off this brand or extra 20% off this brand just like randomly and especially around the holidays too which I'm super excited about because the holidays are coming up <laughs> so that's also something to watch out for. Now this is something that I really want to bring to light that I think is not such a good practice that Ulta does. And this is what we do with returns. 
So all I can say is if you can refrain from returning something that you've already used, please do because you're allowed to return stuff that's been opened or used. However, what happens with that product? We, th we chuck it, we throw it out, it gets thrown out. Even if you used it once, even if you just swatched it, even if you just opened the package. If it's not sealed, we can't sell it. So if you buy a product and you dislike it, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to try to sell it on like Poshmark or something, or give it to a friend, or continue trying to make it work. I know it's hard, especially for like expensive purchases, and I get that, but do your research before you buy stuff, and don't just buy stuff willy-nilly, and try not to return things, because it just gets thrown out, and I just think that's so wasteful. So the biggest thing that I can say is don't return anything to Ulta if you don't have to. If it's not opened, and you literally just bought it, and then you're looking at it, and you're like, gee, I don't really need this, return it and we can put it back on the shelf. That's totally fine. But if you've opened it in any way, swatched it in any way, we take it back, but we cannot resell it. Even if it's like a hair tool, okay? Like if you've opened a hair dryer, right? And used it once and it worked fine, you just didn't like it or you just decided you didn't need it. We have to throw it out. How disgusting is that? That's something that makes me really mad and all of my coworkers are also really just like, bewildered by it. And I don't understand why employees don't get to take stuff home with them that it's gonna get thrown out anyway. It does not make sense to me. I do not think that it's fair and I do not think that it's okay. This is why it's super detrimental when people do like giant hauls and then they like use them for a YouTube video or anything and then they just return it all because all that product gets thrown out. So if you consider doing that, like, ooh, okay, I wanna start a YouTube channel and I wanna do a big haul but I don't really have the money to spend let me just spend it, buy these things, and then return it. Don't, because all those products, gone. I'm honestly trying to think if there's anything else that I should tell you guys, but I really don't have anything. All I can say is I love working at Ulta. I honestly do. I really love the people. I love the atmosphere. I love the actual work of the job. I really love the people that work at my Ulta. I felt very welcomed from the minute that I started working there. It wasn't catty, it wasn't it wasn't anything like I kind of feared it would be. And that's something that I really like. Alta really does pride themselves on supporting women and pushing women forward and just being a supportive environment. And I think that's one of the best things about them. Hey guys, so there is no outro to this video uh, because I actually was <laughs> running late for my shift. Well, not running late, I just didn't have time to do an outro. So it's kind of funny because I was like going to work and I was talking about work. Anywho, that's why I am here now giving you a little outro. I got my nails done again. So anyways, besides the point, <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. I really enjoyed sharing all the fun things about Ulta that I have been experiencing. It's so much fun. Highly, highly, highly recommend working there. I love the company. I love the people. They're just, they're awesome. So yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below any questions you may have or anything you may want to know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next one.